Hi everyone, it's Lindy, and I have another newly listed haul to show you. So I did not get a chance to list very much in my eBay store this week because I have other projects going on in my household, but I did manage to get up a good handful of jeans. And they are jeans that I have been really excited to list because they are really good brands and they are a lot of men's sizes. I love listing men's jeans. I love selling men's jeans. So I was very, very excited to be able to list these this week. And so I figured if it's a week, I'm not gonna be able to list a whole lot. I'm going to list a lot of good stuff. And for me, that good stuff is jeans. So I am going to dig in and show you everything that I have listed this week. As always, if there's anything in this haul that you would like to purchase for yourself, feel free to send me a DM or an email that is below and I will hook you up with a really good deal. Let's get started. So the first pair of jeans that I have listed are these men's Ariat jeans and they are a size 40 waist by 30. They are just a standard boot cut but they are a nice medium denim with some good sandblasting on them and they have the nice thick stitching accents on the back pockets. Ariat jeans always do very well and I have these currently listed in my eBay store for $30 or best offer plus shipping. And these are men's Levi's. They are the 569 loose straight fit and they are a size 40 by 30 and they are brand new with the tags. Now these are just a regular kind of dark indigo style wash and these I have listed for $32 plus shipping. Ooh, what's this? some true religion jeans, but there's a catch. These are girls jeans. So I know everybody hears true religion and we all get really excited. However, when it comes to the girls sizes, the true religion jeans don't sell for nearly as much. These are however in fantastic shape. They are a size 14 and girls they are the joey rainbow you can see the rainbow stitching on the back pocket they are a really really nice cut you could see this kind of uh i'm trying to think of what you would even call this it's almost like a a silhouette seam maybe for the boot cut it just kind of gives it that look of flaring out a little bit more even when it's only boot cut but they're in really fantastic shape there is absolutely no fraying on the bottom hems at all whatsoever but like i said uh girls true religion jeans don't sell for nearly as much so i do have these listed for 15 dollars however i don't really expect for them to sell for much more than 10 dollars plus shipping that's just kind of what the market is right now on girls true religion jeans i have a whole lot of men seven for all mankind i really really like seven for all mankind and men's so this one is, what are you? This one is the extra long relaxed fit men's size 40 inch waist. And they are just a really nice dark wash and you see all of that sandblasting. It's got the whiskering right here on the front. It's got the sandblasting throughout the thigh and then it darkens below the knee. Really, really, really nice shape. These I have listed, have to look, $45 plus shipping on these. Okay, so here's another pair of men's seven for all mankind. All mankind, seven for all mankind. Ah! Seven for all mankind, the slouchy relaxed fit. Now these men's jeans, these are also a, these are 38 inch waist. These are really beat up, but that's a good thing. So you can see here, it's got some really grungy distressing, especially on the back butt. And oh, by the way, all these seven for all mankind jeans have a button fly. That's a really big selling point. People like the button flies. <sighs> by the way, BT dubs, just in case you didn't know. So these have got that really grungy kind of sandblasting. I don't know if you can really 
tell with the lighting, but it's got a lot of that like brown, sandy, true sandblasting, and I love it. I love using keywords like grunge, dirty, or destroyed, those kind of keywords. However, you have to be careful when you disclose the distressing in listings like this because, so these are really distressed, right? They're really distressed. This one is, you kind of know that it's factory made. Um, I know I can just tell by looking at it. However, something like this, this is definitely man-made distressing. This was not meant to be here and you can really tell when it's man-made versus factory because if you feel it, the fabric itself is just a lot more thin. So if you're ever wondering, hmm, I wonder if this is supposed to be here on purpose or I wonder if, you know, the the owner of the jeans just like ripped them up or whatever you can always tell by feeling so these I I can definitely tell these are human made not factory made because of how thin it is so when you're doing the listing make sure to indicate in the listing that it is distressed and not factory distressed um, you could also even go one step further and in the condition you can say things like excessive wear on the knee like that's what I would say here excessive wear on the knee but anyways because a lot of the distressing is man-made and not factory I did list these at $28 um, also another reason why I listed them for a lot less than those other ones is because these are the back bottom hems the back bottom hems are really torn up this is another reason why I would use a word like destroyed in the title and here we have some diesel jeans. Whoop whoop diesel. However, you have to pay attention to different aspects of the jeans. Just like with true religion, not all true religion jeans are created equal. The girls tend to sell for a lot less. Same in this case. So yeah, this is diesel. However, they're women's, not men's. Women's diesel jeans do not do nearly as well as men's jeans do. These are women's boot cut diesel jeans and they're a size 28. Um, just because of the fact that they're women's, I priced these right at about $20 plus shipping. Uh, they are in really fantastic shape, but unfortunately women's diesel jeans don't do nearly as well as men's. But $20 is still good for a used pair of jeans. You know what I'm saying? Here's another pair of Ben's Seven for All Mankind. These are the relaxed fit. Something else that's really awesome about Seven for All Mankind is they will tell you what the style is. So if you're looking at these and you're like, are these straight leg, boot cut, what are you? It'll tell you. It'll usually tell you either in the waistband or on the inside pocket, which is nice. So these are the Seven for All Mankind Relax Fit and they're a size 40 waist. Now these are a lighter wash and they are pretty well worn. Now when I say well worn, I don't mean that they're like beat up and overly worn or really thin, but you could just tell by feeling it that the fabric is just really broken in and comfortable, which is a good thing. So there's really no distressing on the front legs, but there is some distressing on the back pockets. So I would still call these distressed. These also have the button fly and I have these listed for $30 plus shipping. Okay, so here's another pair of men's relaxed seven for all mankind jeans. These are also a size 40 inch waist. Now, these are pretty much identical to the first ones that I just showed you, but these are a much darker wash and they are not as well worn. And they are like, they're in very, very good shape. The only flaw is the back bottom hems, with it, which of course I do indicate in the listing that there is some phrase on the back bottom hems. But other than that, these are about flawless. They're in really great shape. And because of that, I listed them for $45 plus shipping. Continuing on the trend for Men's 7 for All Mankind, here's another pair of slouchy. However, these are different. So as you can tell, there's a running theme. I've listed a lot of Men's 7 for All Mankind. However, they all have a little bit of differences and variations, which is why there's a difference in price. So these are also a size 40. Think I got them all from the same person? Uh, could be. So these are also a size 40 and they are 
really nicely sandblasted. I love these. I love the sandblasting on the front. They are a really nice dark wash with all of this gorgeous whiskering in here. The only problem with these jeans is there's a hole. This broke my heart. So the hole is big enough for me to stick my finger in. However, I don't think it's big enough to keep someone from buying them. So I did just discount the price. Everything else about the jeans is about perfect. They are stunning men's jeans. I love these. It's just that friggin' hole. So because of that stupid hole, I went ahead and just priced them at $25 plus shipping. Um, you know, someone who bought these jeans, maybe they wouldn't even care about the hole or maybe they would patch it up themselves or whatever, but $25 on these jeans is a really, really good deal. It's just that stupid hole. All right, we got some men's diesel jeans. However, hold up. Wait a minute, I can get it. Just like I said before, all brands are not created equal. So yes, these are men's diesel jeans. However, they are the saddle jeans. The saddle series of the diesel jeans don't do nearly as well as the other ones just because they're a lot older. And these are also a lot more beat up. So these are a size 36 inch waist and they do have the button fly. However, these are flawed They're flawed. So in the button fly this button right here. It doesn't work. However The rest of the fly buttons up just fine So it's just that that one that has the uh the cut which is sad but someone could easily repair that if they wanted to if they really loved these old stone wash diesel jeans they could always repair it there is some distressing on there these are pretty old school they've got the worn hems so because of the condition of these diesel jeans i do have them listed for 20. Uh, i'm not sure if they're going to sell for 20. Um, i would be happy to you know based on what I paid for them, get 10 to 15 plus shipping on them because I knew the condition when I bought them. So I'm asking 20, we'll see what happens. We'll see how bad somebody wants those. But not all brands are created equal and you have to look at condition and you have to take into account age. Okay, so here we have some men's Big Star Pioneer regular boot cut jeans. These are so so nice. I love these jeans. I love you. So these are a size 38 long and these jeans are perfection. They are seriously perfection. The bottom hems have zero flaws on them and they're long inseams. There's a lot of the times where people will buy the longer inseams of jeans just because they don't want them too short, but then when they do that, they end up walking on the jeans and they get all frayed. But these are not frayed at all. The only flaw, the only flaw, is that there is no button on this back pocket. That is it. There's no button on this back pocket. That is the only flaw. Other than that, these jeans are like perfection. They are like new. I would almost say that somebody possibly took this button off on purpose, maybe because they wanted to slip their phone or their wallet in without having to worry about the button, because otherwise these jeans are perfection. The color is great. They're, they still feel new. So the fact that this button is missing, that makes me go, you did that on purpose, didn't you? I know you, I know you did. So I just mentioned it in the listing that the back button pocket was missing. Um, you know, if someone removed it, there's probably other people that don't really care that the button is gone just because they like to be able to have easy access to their back pockets. But I listed these for $35 plus shipping. Had that button been there, I might have listed for more like $45. The almighty dojos. No, I don't do that every time I find a pair of dojos. But I'm sure that everyone has heard of Seven for All Mankind dojos. They're basically the most sought after kind of Seven for All Mankind jeans that are out there. These 
just have the blue seven stitching. That's basically how you know they're dojos at first glance is because they'll have the seven on the band on the back pocket as opposed to some other stitching. Um, but the seven is what you're looking for. And then of course it will say dojo in the band or the pocket somewhere. These are a women's size 32, which is a fantastic size in women's for dojos. So they made me go. And so these are also wide leg. Dojos can be like all over the place with pricing. Oh, and it's a really beautiful dark wash. So dojos can be all over the place with pricing. So I did a lot of comp research before I priced these and I went ahead and decided to go ahead and price them at $65 plus shipping. Um, so similar style and size in these dojos were anywhere from like 50 to $70. So I wanted to start a little bit higher because I can always move down in price. And then we just got some really nice men's lucky brand jeans. They're a size 34 inch waist and they are just a standard boot cut and they're just a nice medium denim wash. These I have listed for $25 plus shipping. Oh look, I found another pair of men's seven for all mankind slouchy. These are a size 38 inch waist though, they're not 40s, but these are a really gorgeous like dark indigo wash and look, look at all that detail. Oh, God, I love these. Tell you guys, sometimes I have like a really strange affection for jeans. Anyways, I really love these. These are in really great shape. They do have that button fly. These I have listed for $35 plus shipping. And the last pair that I have listed are these men's Ariat low rise boot cut and they are also a size 40 by 30. And they are just a really nice dark wash and they're the same as those very first pair I showed you that has the, the uh, stitching detail on the back pocket. And these I have listed for $35 plus shipping. Right, you guys, that's everything that I have listed. I was really excited to do these jeans this week because they are all beautiful washes. They're really good sizes. And it's been a really long time since I've had a lot of men's jeans. So I was really excited to get them listed this week. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe you've learned a little bit of some tips about listing jeans on eBay and learning about the different styles, the different washes, the different brands that are out there and how they are all not creative equal. So if you did like this video and videos like it, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down in the comments below. Do not forget to check that video description for a bunch of useful links. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do for more content. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye!